We have 10 by 10. Machine is set up for I chord. I am picking up every third pass for the sew as you go, crossing my cables every six rows. So I've just done a cross, just picked up. So one, two, three. I pick up my bar. One, two, three. Pick up a bar. Now I'm going to cross second, third, over fourth and fifth. I will do the same with seven, eight, nine, and ten. Once again, one, two, three. Pick up. One, two, three. This is where I will, sorry, I bumped the camera. Pick up and do my cable cross. Then to latch up the stitches, you can see that they're on X's and straight, then X's based on the fact we're doing every three rows. So we start by putting the hook down up. I go along the edge to be sure that I'm getting the right stitch and then I'm just latching up to make the stitch as if it was a drop stitch. Whoops, got caught in the other one. And once I get up high enough then I will use a stitch marker to hold them and then I will latch up the other ones. I'm not really sure where I put my stitch markers right now. So then I will put one there to hold it. Then I will come back down and do the same thing, going up the loops, making sure that I am getting the loops as they are knitted and not twisting them. We're pulling them out of sequence. That's why I'm running along the edge like this to make sure that I'm catching the next stitch. And hopefully this will help those with the questions on it. So this allows you to see that it's doing a cable here and a cable on this side and it will close in that whole border.